pay. So the rulers of Egypt decided to build a special water level measure beside the Nile. It was called the Nilometer. At every flood, the water poured into its great, deep, dark chamber, and the people were taxed according to how high the water rose on the Nilometer's marker pole. So today, pumping stations have had to be built to produce a sort of artificial flood. These pumping stations raise the water from river level and deliver it to the canals, which feed all the farms. But it's not the torrential flood that it used to be. In fact, many of the canals are rather sluggish and stagnant, and they get choked with weeds. Today, thank goodness, much of the weed clearance is done by these great scoops. In a quarter of an hour, they can clear what a team of children might have taken a whole day to cut. The final stage of irrigation is to raise the water from the canals to the fields. Many children in Egypt still enjoy being able to drive the donkey who works the bucket wheel. The donkey goes round and round and turns a spindle, which operates the driving cogs. These turn a wheel of buckets which scoop water from a low level to a higher level which winds its way around the fields until it reaches the farmer's plantation. But children in Egypt now need to spend more and more of their time in... Once again, the water is fed into little channels but here it's being used to really flood the fields before the planting. By making little ridges of soil to divide the fields, the farmers can control the amount of water which each area of drenched fields must look very much like they did during those thousands of years when the floods came, the water rose in the nilometer, and they gave the order to breach the bank.